Hi there guys, today this is a tutorial on how to get rid of this little shield in the bottom right of your icons. This tutorial will also teach you on how to get rid of the little pop-up that will tell you that the program is going to need administrative rights because we're making changes to your computer. So before we actually get started we're going to right click it and I'm using Fraps for example. So you're going to remember where it's saved at remember where the target actually is because you're going to need that and now we're going to get started by going to the start menu and typing in task schd dot msc press enter and it will open up the task scheduler so then we're going to click create task and I'm just going to name mine fraps Wraps and run with highest privileges. This will get rid of the box that comes up when you're trying to run it. So there, configure for Windows 7. That is you done in the general tab. Now you're going to go to actions, and then you, and this is where you're, this is where you will like find the file which is saved in. So I've already went, to, I've already located it. So I'm going to do it again, just like where it was when we checked where the f like file is actually located so here we're going to press open and s make sure that is actually on start program and not on send email or anything so then we're just going to click OK to that and then after that we actually do have to go to conditions and then uncheck both of these boxes this is start the task only. You know, you don't want it to do this because it's just stupid. We're going to uncheck this one and then this one. And OK. And then you're just going to right click on your desktop, new shortcut. And then this is the bit where you're going to remember. If you made your, um, if you name the shortcut with a space in it, then you're going to need to put quotation marks, and I'll show you where. But this will be in the description. This little bit that you have to type in. So it's gonna you're gonna start off with S C H tasks and space slash run space slash T N and then space. Now mine didn't have a space in it. But if it did, you'd have to do something like this, so say I name mine After Effects. So I've done it like this. You would need to have quotation marks. But I didn't, so it's just going to be fraps. Add a couple, yes. And then you're just going to click on Next. And you're going to rename the shortcut, well, just to fraps for me. And it's going to come up saying that it's already exists, so I'm going to click yes. Close this. And here you're just going to right click, properties, change icon. Okay. Then you're just going to browse. So if you're going to be using the default icon, you're just going to go to the fraps folder and click on the application. But I'm not, I've got. Um, custom icons, so I'm going to go with them, um, and I'm going to find my fraps, and there it goes. Click OK, OK, and apply that, then there you go. As you see, fraps will just, see, just load. See, I don't even have to click on OK. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.